Well, it was an exciting weekend in sports and for the latest news and notes, uh, Sonny Young joins us now with the sunny side of sports. Hello, Sonny. Hi, Vincent, and sporty greetings once again to all our In Focus viewers. Let's kick off in New Zealand where rugby fans are celebrating their country's second world title. New Zealand edged France on Sunday 8-7 in Auckland. It was a rematch of the inaugural 1987 Rugby World Cup final, which was also played at Eden Park and where New Zealand was victorious over the French 24 years ago. There we see the New Zealand team parading through the streets of Auckland to very happy fans holding the Rugby World Cup trophy. Let's hear now from New Zealand's team captain, Richie McCaw. It says a lot about, um, about the men we've got in the team. <clears throat> You're right, it wasn't very pretty, but uh, it came down to how much desire, how much uh, courage the boys had. And uh, you know, a lot of guys have put a lot of effort in for a long time to uh, get themselves into the situation of playing this game, and they weren't going to let that opportunity go. And um, I think last week we showed uh, the rugby we can play, and today we probably didn't play our best, but uh, we played good enough. You might say Haile Gebre Selassie played good enough on Sunday too. Ethiopia's two-time Olympic champion and former world record holder in the marathon won at the half marathon distance in Birmingham, England. Highly clocked 61 minutes and 29 seconds to easily win the race. Our In Focus viewers might remember Highly lost his marathon world record last month to Kenya's Patrick Macau at the Berlin Marathon in Germany. Highly dropped out of that race in Berlin, but he's back on the winner's podium. Finally, here's a sunny side of sports birthday salute for England and Manchester United striker Wayne Rooney, who was born October 24th, 1985. Rooney didn't have much to celebrate on Sunday. Man U was routed by local rival Manchester City 6-1 in what Man U's manager Sir Alex Ferguson described as our worst ever day. Here's hoping Wayne Rooney has a better day on his birthday. I'm VOA Sonny Young, and that's the sunny side of sports. Back to Vincent McCory. Thanks a lot, Sonny, for those updates. And uh, viewer, remember to join uh, Sunny Side of Sports every Monday and Friday right here on In Focus.